This footage is from two years ago. It was the last time I saw my father. He passed away a few weeks later. Unfortunately, he never got to see me put his heart up. Seven years ago, I got a call from the hospital that my dad had had a stroke. My parents had separated when I was six. I'd only ever talked to him once or twice a year on the phone during the holidays, and he'd now lost the ability to speak, to walk. When I was cleaning his apartment out, I found that all he owned was some old clothes, some paints, and a cache of 126 drawings that no one had ever really seen. I became obsessed with the drawings. I came to see my father in a new light. I wanted to pay homage to an artist whose work had never been seen, but I couldn't talk to him. So I tried to understand him by speaking with my family. He had a difficult life uh, growing up. And yeah, I think so he was one of five siblings and they didn't have a father. So, and their mother wasn't educated. She was working small houses somewhere to support the family. There were no role models. One day he would go to this park a lot and he met uh, a young, another young boy uh, who was maybe around 14 or 15 and he would paint these film posters uh, around Lahore and that was my dad's first uh, introduction to art. So he grew up there and he went uh, then to National College of Arts. He chose to uh, become an architect. So coming to Pratt in uh, New York City for uh, Pasha was really very, very special. I think he, I'm not so sure if he loved architecture, to be honest. I don't know, he kind of fell into it and he was very bright. So, you know, he did the best he could, but he didn't really, he wasn't drawn to architecture. I think he found it to be a bit fake. Despite all his talent, my father quit being an architect. He never worked, he never really did anything. He just wandered from place to place, eventually settling in Montreal. And I always thought he was a loser, a nobody. I want to know why he just gave up. After talking to my family, I realized I'd misunderstood him. I felt like I owed something to him and his work. So I decided to put up his artwork around the city. I had never known anybody like that. He was extraordinary. He had all the things that I thought uh, I thought would be perfect. It was funny. I never thought about Abu as uh, as being somebody who was after really material success as such. You know. You know, I always grew up thinking I could do or be anything I wanted. There was no pressure from him ever to be something that I didn't want to be. And that is love for me. You know, that's how I define it. I'll never know why my father was the way he was. I learned that he had a difficult and complicated life, and I just wish I'd been able to understand that sooner. <laughs>